Mariglobal is an independent, not-for-profit, contract research organization based in Kansas City, Missouri, with regional offices in Virginia, Maryland and Florida. In addition to its own research laboratories, Mariglobal operates research facilities for the Department of Energy and the Department of Defense. Mariglobal conducts programs in the areas of molecular diagnostics, antimicrobial resistance, therapeutics, engineering, mobile laboratories, CBRNE technology development and countermeasures, chemical testing facilities, real time biosurveillance, national security and defense, energy and the environment, and agriculture and food safety. The purpose of Mariglobal is to provide solutions through scientific research, technology development, and technical services for the benefit of government, industry, and the public. History Foundation Founded in 1944 during World War II as Midwest Research Institute, the organization's initial mission was to find a way to convert the ammonium nitrate military ordnance plants in Galena, Kansas, Parsons, Kansas, DeSoto, Kansas and El Dorado, Arkansas to peaceful uses of creating fertilizer. Among the nine founders was Kenneth A. Spencer who would make a fortune from the Jayhawk plant in Galena. Spencer would be chairman of the institute from 1954 to 1957, and donated money for the Kenneth A. Spencer Laboratories building and the Spencer Auditorium at Mariglobal. Mariglobal was located initially in the former Westport, Missouri City Hall at 40th Terrace in Pennsylvania. That building was torn down in 1955 at which time Mariglobal moved into its current Kansas City headquarters, facing the Nelson Art Gallery, and adjacent to University of Missouri, Kansas City and the headquarters of Russell Stover's Candy. Topic rapid expansion Mariglobal obtained its first contract with NASA in 1961 and its first U.S. Arms Control and Disarmament Agency contract in 1964. In the 1970s, the organization began working for the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency developing tests to detect and measure pollutants. Expansion and growth continued in the 1980s. In 1982, a venture group was created to commercialize Mariglobal's inventions. Major projects included engineering lightweight thermoelectric cooling devices for U.S. Army aircraft. This technology earned an R&D 100 award, and was used in Operation Desert Storm to keep flight personnel cool while operating in warm climates. Throughout the next two decades, Mariglobal expanded its operations, adding locations in Palm Bay, Florida, in 1999, Rockville, Maryland, in 2002, and Frederick, Maryland, in 2003. In January 2015, Mariglobal powered their first ever online detection database, CBRNE Tech Index. Topic. Recent history On March 1, 2011, the organization was renamed Mariglobal. In 2014, Mariglobal launched CBRNE Tech Index, a comprehensive database of chemical, biological, radiological, nuclear, and explosive CBRNE detection equipment. Topic projects coding process for M&M &M candies permitting the coding of 3300 pounds 1500 kilograms of chocolate centers every hour 1950s soluble coffee for JA Folger a forerunner of auto drip coffee maker 1950s National Renewable Energy Laboratory managed since its start in 1977 as Mariglobal is part of the Alliance for Sustainable Energy 1970s Maintaining the National Cancer Institute repository since the 1980s Development of a thermoelectric cooling system for flight personnel and astronauts 1990s. Ethanol conversion process for the entire corn plant cob, stalk and leaves. Not just the kernels in conjunction with NREL and DuPont. 2000s Advanced air sampler to detect trace levels of DNA from anthrax spores 2000s. Producing an HPV vaccine for Phase I clinical trials 2010s. Supporting the National Institute of Neurological Disorders and Stroke in the development and manufacture of drug candidates for ultimate use in clinical trials 2010s. Custom design and fabricated two-containerized biocontainment system CBCS units for the United States Department of State with private funding from the Paul Allen Ebola program to serve as flyable medical transport units with full biocontainment for patients with Ebola or other types of highly pathogenic organisms 2010s. Providing electricity to a remote island village in Tanzania through a 6280 kW PPV battery diesel hybrid minigrid 2010s. <laughs> 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 <laughs>